Okay, it's uh, great to see you this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. My name is Darren Joseph, and we are HEJ.tax. We are a team of cross-border tax advisors, accountants, and lawyers who seek to demystify the sometimes confusing world of international tax. And today we have the pleasure of joining us an expert in taxes for Bulgaria. This is Rosetta. Rosetta, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Hello, Darren. Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to talk uh, with you for uh, Bulgarian advantages. Uh, my name is Rusica and I'm an accountant. I uh, work for um, freelancers and company from, uh, especially from Europe, but um, mm -hmm. for, from other countries uh, like um, ex-Soviet uh, Union uh, countries mm -hmm. also, and mm -hmm. of course from Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, Bulgaria is a very interesting country. Mm, we are situated yeah. uh, um, to Turkey. We are um, border to uh, European Union border, mm -hmm. and uh, we share uh, Black Sea with Turkey. Uh, mm -hmm. We are um, nearby the Greece, by Romania, and uh, we are part of the uh, post-socialistic uh, countries. Uh, but now we are uh, joint Europe from uh, 2007. Mm -hmm. So uh, our economy is growing now because, um, uh, because uh, we um, found that uh, our people are our capital. Mm -hmm. uh, Bulgaria is the best keep secret, investing in Bulgaria is the best keep secret <laughs> in Europe. Okay. Uh, because so we have many advantages. Uh, for example, um, uh, our um, um, people are uh, almost all of them are bilingual. Uh, mm -hmm. Workers are uh, very um, uh, educated, um, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very easy to set up a company in Bulgaria, which are our <laughs> conversation. <laughs> of okay. Course. Right. So, I mean, as, as you mentioned, Bulgaria is a, a popular destination for, for freelancers, uh, independent contractors and the like. I, I'm aware, I believe that Bulgaria has a, a, some sort of digital nomad visa. Are you are you able to speak to that? Uh, yes, digital nomads, okay. of course. Uh, yeah. According to Cisco systems, Bulgaria is ranged as a, a, a third uh, most uh, in, uh, destination with uh, um, very good internet. Okay, uh, number three. Yes, Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> number three. Um, uh -huh. I have a clients which are setting up, up a company here in Bulgaria, but I didn't mm -hmm. see them at all because mm -hmm. they are traveling all over the world, but uh, paying their taxes here in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. We are famous with our 10% uh, tax uh, tax um, taxation. Uh, it's uh, annual tax, 10%. Uh, nothing else. Uh, so um, Bulgaria is, uh, according to UK government outsourcing uh, association for 2015 year, Bulgaria mm -hmm. is named as um, new offshore zone. But mm -hmm. you know that we can't mm -hmm. because we are in European Union. So mm -hmm. our um, taxes are almost uh, best that I heard all over the world. It's just 10% of everything that you earned as a company or as a digital nomad. Uh, it's very interesting for uh, digital nomads in Bulgaria because uh, we are um, we can uh, offer a, um, a lowest rents in Europe mm -hmm. and um, very good internet um, communication system, broadband. Mm -hmm. uh, we can... Um, our government uh, made uh, setting up a company almost uh, online. <laughs> everything is, uh, you can done everything uh, online. So I think that uh, mm, mm -hmm. you can uh, make your company or setting up a business for three working days. Okay, that's fantastic. So just, just to, to cover it, uh, Bulgaria, part of the EU since 2007, it's not part of the Schengen area. It's not yes. part of the Eurozone yet. But uh, so that perhaps creates opportunities for people outside of Europe. It's relatively easy to come into, into Bulgaria uh, for those who qualify as, I guess, the equivalent of a visa waiver. I think you can stay there 
for up to a couple a few months and then there's months. a yeah then there's a digital nomad visa i think that's a, a type d visa i think it is that's uh, uh, yes it depends if they are from mm -hmm. european union they just uh, need to to extend their uh staying mm -hmm. but if they are uh, outside european union they must uh, uh apply for a visa yes Okay, so they need to apply for a type D visa. Okay, so that's great. Now let's let's go into starting a company. So you can start a company in three days. Do you need a local agent? How much? If so, how much does it cost? What are the incorporation costs and what's the process like? Yes, um, capital uh, capital is two level, which is uh, less than two euro. Uh, mm -hmm. You can set up a company. This is a minimum uh, capital. You can set up a company. Um, almost um, almost uh, by uh, electronic stamp it's very uh, in bulgaria it's very um, common to everyone uh, to have an electronic stamp electronic signature and uh, this uh, um, this is something that uh, is useful for us almost everything you you can do uh, with your computer and electronic stamp especially uh, mm -hmm. setting up a, a company uh, mm -hmm. all you need this is something that uh, for now is uh, uh, you must go to the bank open a bank mm -hmm. account and um, right. uh, this capital from two lever or more of course you must um, uh, create a bank account uh, mm -hmm. for this two lever uh, after this after setting up a, a, a company of course uh, you can do it by yourself if you have electronic stamp but you can use a local uh, agent um, we are using uh, lawyers mm -hmm. lawyers because this um, there are um, some documents that must be uh, prepared by lawyer it's, it's good to be prepared by lawyer especially mm -hmm. if you have um, more shareholders than one uh, after setting up a company, you you can make uh, everything uh, with your company. For example, selling, uh, buying. Uh, it's very common in Bulgaria to setting up a company for buying a property, mm -hmm. uh, especially apartments of, um, and land, because um, Bulgarian land uh, Bulgarian land is um, you can have a, a citizenship uh, for buying a land and. Mm -hmm. um, this is the only one um, option to buy land, to have a company which buy land. We yes. have a very beautiful coast and many people um, mm -hmm. prefer to set up a company and then buy land to, uh, to um, build the resorts. And uh, this is uh, an option. Um, setting up a company is an option to have a citizenship also. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.